internet? What do I think of it? I think the internet is the greatest invention in the history of mankind. Who doesn't love the internet? I use it for everything. I'm actually addicted to the internet. I have a sort of love-hate relationship with it. I, I hate that I love it so much. I love... I hate that I love it so much. I definitely see it as like my best friend and my worst enemy. I love the internet until everybody else is on it. I think the internet is a great, exciting and absolutely terrifying place full of just, just weird people. I think in some ways it can make people a lot more confident because writing a comment is a lot easier than talking to someone in real life. Online, I am loads of fun. In real life, I'm quite shy. When you're behind a screen, you're just not afraid to just be just whatever you feel like being at the time. I say all sorts of stuff when I'm on the internet. You can be anonymous and you can hide behind a keyboard and you're quite disconnected from the effect you're having on people. They don't think that any of it's real. It's all just pixels. No actual people with emotions. In real life, might get physically hurt. I get a lot of comments from people telling me that I'm fat, like I won't have noticed already. Like, oh, whoa. Oh, thanks. Someone said that they wish that my entire family would get eaten by a scorpion. Get your teeth fixed. Oh, you're so gay. You're stupid. You're ugly. This video is terrible. Why don't you delete your account? <laughs> Dean cut your hair. Somebody really couldn't stand Dean's hair. Like, I mean, I'm I'm with them, to be, to be honest. I do think it's important to talk about sort of the negativity that's spread online. It needs to be a talked about. You can't sweep this under the carpet. Too many of us just accept it when there is so much that we could all do about it. We should show that we're not afraid to kind of address these sort of issues. I genuinely feel that with us all working together, we can make a massive difference to negativity online. We can kind of understand better why people do that to each other. If you have the tools to deal with the negativity, it's not gonna affect you as much. The troll can be killed. <laughs> I think I would have benefited a lot from it back when I was starting out on the internet. Yeah, uh, oh, I just punched myself in the face. Nothing is going to change without your help. I don't want to over-exaggerate, but I think it's safe to say that this show is going to absolutely blow your mind and completely change your perceptions on absolutely everything. Hopefully it will change the world. It's going to be great. Don't know, I just said that in a Geordie accent. So, um, yeah. <laughs> Let's do it. See you there. Bye. Okay, everyone, welcome to the Radio On Internet Takeover special. Hi. <laughs> so, what is this show? We all go on the internet. I think it's safe to say that most of us spend a lot of our lives on the internet. Without the internet, we would have nothing. I think we can, yeah. No job, definitely. No, yeah, nothing on the internet. And the internet can be a good place, you know, no human interaction. I think that that's definitely helped a lot of us because it can allow people that are quite shy to be confident. You can be, you know, whoever you want to be. It's quite easy to express yourself. But obviously, when there isn't that much human interaction, it makes it very easy to be negative. And that's what we're talking about today, all the negativity that happens online. What we want to do is to talk about why people can be hateful on the internet so we can kind of understand why they're doing it and maybe feel less bad about it ourselves to talk about what we can do to not make it so easy for ourselves to be victims, how we can stop people from interacting with us negatively, and what we can all do to make the internet a nicer place for us all to spend all of our lives in. So let's introduce today's special vlogger guest, starting with you over there. Hello, my name is Charlie, Charlie McDonnell, and is that enough? Yep, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Will that do? That's, that's my name. Hi, I'm Tom, uh, also known as Tom Scar on the internet, and I make sketch comedy videos, not vlog very often. Why am I here? Can I go home? <laughs> no. Hi, I'm Louise. My channel is Sprinkle Glitter, and I make nice videos about beauty or fashion or being positive and just nice things. Good. Hi, I'm Phil. You may know me from Dan and Phil on Radio 1 and also Amazing Phil on YouTube. And also Dan and Phil Games, <laughs> if you'd like to subscribe. Cheeky plug. <laughs> Get nice. that promo in. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I'm Patricia from the channel Patricia Bright and I do fashion, beauty and lifestyle as well. Uh, my name is Jim Chapman and I spend most of my time just talking about stuff. I wish my intro was as good as these guys. Um, I haven't got much else to say about myself though. Now I'll take over then. Uh, hello, uh, I'm Jack Howards. I'm part of a comedy duo, comedy duo called Jack and Dean. For those on the radio, I did use inverted commas, but that just means nothing that to was you. This, that was the sound of air quotes. <laughs> the rest of the radio. Yeah, that's who I am. Dean didn't so have a the, my, my mind not working and me off the stage story of my life. So uh, <laughs> I'm Dean. I'm the other half of that channel that he's on. Thank you, Dean. Everybody. Yay! Yay! So. <laughs> 
<laughs> Here is our opening question for you guys. Negativity. Not just kind of expressing a negative opinion, but actually saying something mean to people. Why do you think people do it? Anybody got any opinions, ideas for it? Jack? Um, I think that with the internet, people are more likely to <clears throat> be confident enough to say something mean or uh -huh. express something in a, in a, in a bad way because um, they're not seeing the reaction. Like mm -hmm. on the internet, it's just you're behind the keyboard, you can see a screen, and you're just thinking that that's all you're doing when really they're forgetting that there's somebody on the other side of that that is just as complex as you. There's, it's a mm -hmm. person with thoughts and feelings and emotions. And um, I, I think that that's what people forget a lot of the time. Yep, totally. I mean, you don't see the other person, so it doesn't feel like it's really happening. Does anyone think, why would someone feel compelled to say something negative in the first place, Phil? If someone's having a bad day, they might feel better about themselves to say something horrible about Miley Cyrus or something like that. Just yeah. No, totally. It's like a venting, but they're also being mean to someone, which they don't need to do. That is exactly what it is. I don't know if you guys have heard of this. It's a great word. It's called projection. The idea is that if people are feeling sad, if they're feeling angry, if they're feeling insecure about themselves, and they see someone that is being something that they feel un, you know, not confident enough to be themselves, they will take out those feelings on another person to bring them down, because actually, it's about them feeling bad themselves. So the first thing that we should all admit, and this applies to all bullying, not just cyberbullying and mean things on the internet, is that most of the time, when someone goes out of their way to say something horrible to you, it's not you, it's about them. So if you look at it and think, is this person saying that because of me, or is it just really this person feeling bad about themselves, it immediately makes it a lot less impactful. <laughs> so Dean, you're, you're over there with the whiteboard. I think it would be quite good, because we're all going to say a lot of stuff. Some people in the audience might make really good points that we want to remember. So you can just kind of like, what's that? I'm just, I'm, my job, my job, my job, <laughs> my job is to summarise what's going on with So the what's that on the right next to the drawing of you? Well, you, the whole point was it's them, not you. Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. So this is me. Yeah. And I'm great. Yeah. You're and fine. And this is them. It's a troll. Like a troll? That is a great troll. So it seems like Facebook is one other thing where it's kind of private and contained. But anywhere that you're opening yourself up to the internet in like a public thing, so like Twitter or YouTube, this is when anyone you've never met before can just roll along and say something mean to you. So what can we do about it? How do we respond? We have a video from someone who couldn't make it because he's in Australia. Troy Savan, does anyone know who that is? <laughs> We asked him what he does when he gets a mean comment, and this is his advice for it. Hello, my name is Troy Sivan, and I am a singer and actor and YouTuber from Australia. And my top three tips of cyberbullying are, number one, ignore, ignore, ignore. Number two, block, block, block. And number three, if it's really, really bad, you should definitely um, just talk to someone about it. There is a guaranteed someone out there, whether it's like a teacher or a parent or a friend, who can help you out and help you deal with the situation. So, um, yeah. So, um, yeah. I think that Troy basically summarized the entire show in about 20 seconds then. So we'll slowly break all of that down. The first thing he said was ignore, ignore, ignore. Now, Patricia, you have said that you never reply. Why is that? I rarely reply, is what I <laughs> should say. Rarely, um, yeah. Just because it draws more attention mm -hmm. to it, and I find that negative comments, more people respond to it, and it kind of fuels the fire. Mm -hmm. And I've also found that negative people want the attention. Mm -hmm. So why would I give it to them? They're just going to keep going and keep going. So ignore Try it. to ignore it. What about so, you, Jim? You seem like a pretty peaceful guy. You seem to... I, I don't think I've ever seen you get in on someone that said something hateful. Why are you so peaceful? Um, in a piece. No, I don't know. I think for me, it's, I, I, luckily I don't get a great deal of hate anyway. Yeah. When I do, I really struggle not to reply. I want to, because mm -hmm. particularly the spelling mistakes. Like if they, <laughs> if, if, oh, they say, if they say Stop. you're an idiot with an apostrophe, yeah. I'm like, no. You want to um, jump right in there with a asterisk. sorry. Yeah, exactly. But, um, I think, like Patricia said, it, it, it kind of it fuels the fire, and the next thing you know, it's top comment, and then there's people either defending you or supporting them, and the whole thing escalates, and it's kind of, it makes your video a negative place. Yeah. And my videos, for the most part, are about positivity, and I want to make people smile and laugh, that's my job. Um, I don't want, then, uh, negative stuff under it. Um, totally. So I just think, ignore it. What was that thing you said about pigs, was it? Was it pigs? Oh, yeah. So this is a quote. Jim said an amazing quote earlier. Yeah, this is a quote someone told me once, and I have to get it right. Um, something to do with, right, don't 
play in the mud with pigs because you'll both get dirty, but the pig will like it. So basically, ooh. if you... Can we have an ooh moment yeah, for that? Ooh. Ooh. Profound ooh. quote. It's deep. Yes. So, you know, if you, kind of, <laughs> if you tangle with the trolls, then they're going to love the fact that they're getting attention and they're going to like the fact Absolutely. that you've bitten. Um, if you just ignore it, then they'll move on. We're actually joined by Alex Holmes in the audience, who is an anti-bullying ambassador. So, Alex, what about when someone, you can't just ignore what they're saying and you're considering blocking them. Should you block or not? What would you say? I think our biggest advice is to block. It's the mm -hmm. most powerful tool we all have in the palm of our hand. Don't let 140 characters ruin your day. Clearly from people that don't know you very well. You don't need them in your life, so block, get rid of them and move on. It's a hard message, but it's one that I think you guys are really spreading well and that we all need to remember that actually sometimes we do come across people in life that are having a bad day, but don't let them get you down. Focus on the positive and use that block tool. Yep, absolutely. We shouldn't tolerate. Yeah, round of applause. Good advice. So on some websites, like Twitter, as I'm sure you all know, there is a mute option. So it seems like there are so many ways that you can reply to a situation. So Phil, yes. you've got like a, a little goldfish ball in front of you. It's a hamster ball. It's a hamster ball. <laughs> and what is inside that ball? There's lots of pieces of paper with different responses that you could have to a hater comment. OK, so can you, can you give us one from the wall? Yes. Wah, wah, wah. Wah, wah, wah. OK, reply with a self-deprecating joke. OK, so does anyone here post kind of like embracing old, old Dean? Dean. D do you ever make jokes about things from people? At my own expense. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. All the time. So what would you do if someone <laughs> left a comment on your video that was like, oh, don't like your hair? I don't like it either. <laughs> <laughs> it's got to stay for the branding. <laughs> <laughs> okay, ignore it. Yep, I think we've all discussed why that one's a pretty amazing one. Um, sarcastic reply. Oh, a bit of sass. Who here has ever sassed someone on the internet? Hands up. Yeah, <laughs> everyone's like, yes, I have. So, Tom, could you put your hand up? I'm just going to jump into here. What's, what's your opinion on sassy replies? Do you think it's a good thing? Do you think it's a bad thing? Oof, I mean... So you've got to be really careful when you do a sassy reply, mm -hmm. not to make a typo, especially if your reply <laughs> is about their grammar. Yeah. That's a good one, is when they've misspelled something. Oh, I put the wrong your! <laughs> and, then, and then get it wrong. Like, mm -hmm. oh, your spelling is terrible. Oh, no, wait, no, wrong your, no. You know, so. <laughs> one example of the best sassy response I ever saw. Please. And I hate to do this, because I hate to give you any praise, but it was Jax. <laughs> yes! Uh, <laughs> someone had put, you look kind of chunky, and Jack put, there's no C in hunky. Whoa! <laughs> I mean, thank you. Yes, I like round oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing there, Dean? I'm looking at Dean's roundup board. What have you been drawing for us? Can you describe it for the radio listeners? I, I certainly can. We've got, I don't know what these are called. <laughs> okay. Um, I feel like that woman from Countdown. That's what I feel Carol like. Carol Gordon, <laughs> yeah. Can I have a vowel? Um, <laughs> ignore. Um, I didn't spell ignore. Right at first, so that fits into classic Tom Scar. We're in about. Tom, are you going to make fun of Dean for his grammar? Uh, when we get home. Okay, but cool. not now. <laughs> Block. Very big of you. Block. It's a shield. Uh -huh. Yeah. And report. These Good. are three things that you can do. Yep. All with varying effects. Mm -hmm. We talked about pigs in the mud. <laughs> I can't quite remember why, but <laughs> I, I drew a pig by itself because I think that was important. Okay. That's yeah. good. That's, that's, that's good. good. Oh, I think yeah. this is an ongoing masterpiece. And then there was Sass War, which I really wanted to capture, but. I, I didn't have time to. Okay. Didn't have time, so well, I just drew a, a little dot from the distance that says Sass Wall. Okay, great. Thank you very much, Dean. Thank you. Yeah. It's a pleasure Applause to be here. Start. What do you do if you not only see someone saying mean things to you, but maybe to other people and you want to stop it? You report people, don't you? Phil, do you have a fact for this? Can I put my ball away You now? can put the okay. ball down. <laughs> right. Fact. Among those who experience mean behaviours online, 75% have blocked someone who's being unkind. However, only 27% have reported cyberbullying. Okay. Who here knows how to use the report feature on every app or social media that they use? Yeah. Quite a few. Try harder. You? Quite a few. I, th I don't think, I think that was like... That was 20%. awful. 20%. That was, I, th that I was think that was, that was a strong 27%. Yeah. Yeah. Like <laughs> it reflects my fact. <laughs> it <laughs> reflects your fact, Phil. It's really easy to report someone. It is really easy to report someone. Just look for the button that says report, and it'll say, what have they said to you? So if you've got some evidence of what they've said to you, you can put it in the box, 
click report, and then if they see they're being mean to other people or they give them a warning, then their account will get deleted. So I've got a quite a fun example of reporting here that I thought that everyone on, on this little sofa zone might be able to relate to, which is all of us YouTubers, there's a lot of people that kind of pretend to be us on Facebook. Sh should we have a look at a quick video I made where I searched for Dan Howell on Facebook to see how many fake me's there are? So obviously, I am the real Dan Howell, but let's go on Facebook and see how many fake me's there are out there. Search for my name, go to people, and wow, okay, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, two, um, okay, wow, it's refreshing the page, and, and again, and again, and again. And I feel like this could go on for a while, so I'm just going to pick one and show you how to report it for impersonating you. So let's see. That is a particularly embarrassing photo of me, so this one needs to go right now. I am going to click on these three dots on the right-hand side of the page, go to report. I'm going to report this account, and then I'm going to say this timeline is pretending to be me. Continue. <laughs> you can say that they're pretending to be me, someone I know, or a celebrity. So if you want to, you know, just delete some fake Lady Gaga's out there, you can do that. I'm going to click me, continue, submit to Facebook for a review, and done. And then if you see here, if we go here, it says, we will review the profile you reported for pretending to be you. If it violates our community standards on identity and privacy, because Facebook cares, they will ask you to prove your account, and then they will remove it. Thanks. So now I just need to do this another 800 times. So we've talked about negativity, talked about blocking people, but free speech. This is the thing that we should consider. We're talking about online negativity. People are allowed to express opinions. Surely people should be allowed to express negative opinions. So what is the line between people's right to express negative opinions and the kind of stuff that isn't OK? Does anyone here have a? I think to summarize that, Phil? I think just don't be mean to someone. I mean, you can say, hey, I didn't really enjoy this video without being horrible about the person. Mm -hmm. I think maybe just imagine if someone said it to your mum, how would you feel? <laughs> I think it's about just being a good person, isn't it? Yeah. It's, like, it's, it's, it's a bit be weird. Nice. It's like that we, yeah. like, it's, it feels like so strange that we have to talk about that. It's like, yes, free speech exists, but don't be awful. Like, they, like, just because you can take advantage of something doesn't mean you should take advantage of it. I mean, that's the quote, isn't it? It's like, it's okay to have an opinion, just don't be a jerk about it. Harassment is literally a criminal offense. It is anything that causes you distress or alarm. There is no strict legal definition of stalking, but that is also a crime that includes following a person, watching them or spying on them without consent or forcing contact with them in any way. So even if it's through the internet, that is also not allowed. And also today, so this is breaking news, which is actually a really good thing, there is finally a law on revenge porn in the UK, which means that if you share naked pictures with someone and they spread it on the internet without your consent, that is now literally a crime. So yeah. if, it, you know, if you wanted to do it before and you were just a horrible person, it's now also illegal, so it is a crime. So make sure that you, you know how to do that, get the evidence and talk to the police. The other reality in 2015 is that the same bullying that people go through in real life from people they actually know in their families, at school, at work, can now just carry around the bullying into the pockets. And this is a lot harder. It's a completely different situation. Because what do you do when you're being bullied by someone online and then not somebody that you can cut out of your life by blocking them or reporting them? We have a video from Helen from thesite.org, which has a good example about something that happened on WhatsApp. So let's have a look at that. Hi there, I'm Helen from the site.org. Um, we're a website aimed at 16 to 25 year olds. You can come and get information from us on a range of different issues. You can chat to us, you can watch our videos, you can contact us through our question service. An example of the kind of issue young people talk about on the site relates to mobile phones. We all love our phones, but they can cause issues. Imagine a group of friends, um, one of them started dating, everyone's really excited. and someone in that group decides it would be fun to use WhatsApp to follow the relationship. So maybe uh, overhearing conversations and sharing them in the group, maybe even taking a few photos. Could be fun, could all end in tears. So Alex, what would you do in this situation if people you know are gossiping about you and you want them to stop? 
Yeah, so I think that that's that's quite a tough one, mm -hmm. um, and especially when it's happening online, it's so instant, so quick um, that that can make it seem ten times worse. And I think the advice maybe is about um, you know putting your phone down for a minute, really thinking about it, and perhaps going face to face and speaking to someone about it. Because if mm -hmm. it's bothering you, then there might actually be a much better solution face to face talking to someone. Whereas things online very quickly can, can get out of hand, that, as it was said there. So I think that conversation with someone face to face would be really important with dealing with the problem. The number one thing here is that it's another thing that you absolutely shouldn't tolerate at all. It's not your fault that this is happening. It's their problem. So you need to go to an authority figure. You need to try to reason with them. And if they don't, then, hey, bring down the force of justice upon them for being mean. Yeah. <laughs> Let's talk about what we can actually do to make the internet a better place ourselves. Charlie, you've got a fact here about people talking about how often they're positive on the internet. Fact. 88% of young teens say they always try to be nice online. Always try to be nice online, 88%. Can we get a yes or no from the audience here? No. <laughs> so I thought that we could play a little game here to talk about how you can express an opinion in different ways. We've got two little emojis printed off. So Charlie and Tom, can you hold these up? Um, <laughs> So I'm going to hit you with some topics here. Say there is a YouTube video. One of us has uploaded, or maybe one of you guys has uploaded a vlog, and there is a comment under it. You maybe don't like the video for a reason. Tom, what is a way that you could express your feelings? This is the worst video I've ever seen, and I hate you. You should delete this video and your account and just everything to do with you forever. OK. I think, would you think that represents like most negative feedback on you? Yeah, I think that's the tone most people have. Charlie, what is swear another swear words in your one, though. <laughs> what is another way you could say the same thing? This video wasn't quite to my tastes. <laughs> and I don't think I'll probably watch you anymore. But I hope your channel does well. Thank you. <laughs> oh, there we go. Yeah, round of applause for the nice way of handling that. Yeah. Dean, you're very busy in the corner. Can you please explain to us how your roundup corner is going? It's going great. Um, uh, could you explain the drawings to the people sure. listening on the radio? Uh, there's, this, uh, there's a guy here who wants to talk, but he can't because he's, uh, he's, he's locked up. He's suffering in silence, uh -huh. more poetically. Um, and then he decides to talk to his friends about it. Yes. And he's a pretty cool guy. But he's got his hands on his shoulder. He's like, don't worry, brother. I've got you. Um, so there's that. And then I thought I'd draw the two little... Uh, I was struggling. I thought I'd do the two little uh, devil and angel thing. Devil saying, Iron Man wasn't very good. And the angel's like, I wasn't a huge fan of Iron Man. Maybe they'll do better with the sequel. Round Which we all know they didn't. Round of Boston. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a bit of nerd thing. Not very good. OK, so what have we learned here? We've learned that when you know that it's not you, it's them when it comes to bullies, it can make you feel a bit less affected by it. We now know that it's important to understand how to use the websites because you are in control of how people interact with you on the internet and it is up to you to not tolerate it. And that we should all be aware because, I mean, we all start arguments with people. We all say mean things about Miley Cyrus, but maybe if we think, why am I saying something mean about Miley Cyrus? Even though I don't know her, I'll be nice. We'll feel happier on the inside. So sh should we make this a thing? Do you like things, guys yes. in the audience? I like things. We're like going to make this a thing. Let's all do a pledge to take something from what we've learned here today and commit to it with a tweet. Can we do a okay? hashtag? We can do a hashtag. We, we have a hashtag. What's Louise, the hashtag? What you tell us. Oh, it's because I did it earlier by mistake, a bit too soon. Uh, it's <laughs> hashtag nicer internet. Yes, OK, so everyone get out your phones. I told everyone Phone to turn time. them off because we're on the radio. I'm actually asking you to turn them back on. If anyone so, wants to know how to spell it, Dean's written it for you <laughs> on the little... I've done mine. Um, it's Miley Cyrus is all right. Hashtag <laughs> nicer canvas. <laughs> yes, thank you, you Dean. <laughs> I'm happy to help. That is, that is a great summary of all of the profound things that we've said so far on the show. <laughs> Thank you. Can, can we, before we go, another round of applause for Dean. Yes. Yeah. I mean, kind of symbolising really complicated things in drawings is hard. What a guy. Thanks. I could do birthday cards. Um, <laughs> advice, I'll do anything. Okay, let's shoot. So everyone's got out the phone. Okay. So, I'm going to take a picture of all of you and do nicer internet. So. Oh, everybody do that. Be okay. nice. Ready. Always nice for a selfie. Steady. You look beautiful. OK, Jack, Jack just jumped across the room. Don't injure yourself guys. doing selfies. Thank you. So my pledge, based on what we've learned in this show so far, is to not let others' negativity get me down and to try to be a positive influence on myself and other people on the internet. And I will tweet that with hashtag 
nicer internet. And you guys get involved too, no matter where you are right now, you there watching this, think about what you've learned from this show and what you want to say to the world and tweet it with hashtag nicer internet. I hope you guys all had a great time and hopefully just by talking about all of this stuff, we've learned some things and for ourselves and for the people we can talk to, we can make the internet a bit of a nicer place. Goodbye guys. Bye. Goodbye. Bye.